Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have a matrix space XD, A is subset of X. Function F is defined from X to R. It is defined in this way. F of X is equal to distance of X from set A. We have to prove that it is uniformly continuous function. So let us start with the given information. So let me write here, we have a matrix space xd okay and the second information is a is subset of x so what will i do i will draw the diagram here so we can easily understand the meaning of it so this is a matrix space xd we have we have some set a which is subset of x right a function a function so we have a function f from x to r defined as so it is defined as f of x is equal to d of x a that means distance of x from a so if you take any point here x so if you operate f of if you operate f on x then you will get the distance of point x from set a that distance we will get there getting so if that point lies inside a then distance will be zero let me write here if you if your x is here then distance uh, of x from a is zero since x lies inside a set getting so in this way the function f is defined and we have to prove that it is uniformly continuous so let me mention here to prove that f is uniformly continuous on x so let us recall the definition of uniformly continuous function. So that definition is d of x y less than delta implies d dash of f of x f of y less than epsilon. Okay, so here for given epsilon greater than zero, there exists delta greater than zero. So here delta depends on epsilon only it does not depend on x and y so and it is true for all x y belongs to capital x so this is definition of uniformly continuous function in case of continuous function what we do we fix one point a and we write d of x a less than delta and here delta depends on epsilon as well as that point a also but here we can take any arbitrary point x y that delta depends on epsilon only so we call it as uniformly continuous function so here we have to prove the function f which is defined in this way is uniformly continuous. So before proving it is uniformly continuous, we are going to prove one result by considering it as a claim. We will prove it and using it, we will prove it is uniformly continuous. So let me write here. So first we will prove following claim. Following claim. So let me write a claim here. So the claim is, so our claim is d of mod d of xa minus d of ya less than or equal to distance between xy and this is true for any point xy belongs to x. So we are going to prove this thing first and using it we will prove it is uniformly continuous. Okay, so let us start to prove. So I am taking any two points xy from matrix space x x and y can be anywhere in the matrix space x and we take one point a which is from capital a only okay so let me show here so a we have a point from capital a so now i'm going to use triangle inequality by triangle inequality okay triangle inequality which we have already studied in a definition of matrix space that is a fourth property of matrix space right so by triangle inequality, what can we write d of x a less than or equal to see for triangle inequality, three points we want and we have already x, y and a. So by triangle inequality, d of x a less than or equal to d of, uh, let me write d of x, y plus d of y a. So I have, I have introduced point y between x and a. So x, y and y a so i got this one okay so after that what will i do i'm going to take infimum over x uh, a belongs to capital a okay 
I'm going to do that, but see some more space is required. Make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So I have already mentioned there, we are going to take infimum over A belongs to capital A. So let us take of both sides. So infimum of D of X A over A belongs to capital A less than or equal to see here small a is not there so no need to take infimum we can simply write d of x y plus here we have a small a so let us take infimum infimum of d of y a a belongs to capital a so infimum of d of x a a belongs to capital a this is definition of distance of point x from capital a okay so let me show here See, suppose set A we have and A is here, uh, sorry, small x is here. So, infimum, A be any point of A. So, whatever the infimum, that means minimum distance of x from point of A is nothing but distance of x from set A. So therefore, we can say this is nothing but distance of x from set A. So, let me write here, therefore, D of x A less than or equal to C, we will have the same D of x y. And will you tell me it will be what? It will be distance of point y from set A. Same definition we have there getting. So at a place of x we have y. So d of y. So now what will I do? I am going to shift d of y on this side. So therefore d of x A minus d of y less than or equal to d of x y. See, so much important thing we have got. I'm calling it as one. This is our inequality number one. So now see what will I do? I'm going to replace x by y and y by x. Let us do replacing x by y and y by a, x. Okay, so let us see what will happen. Let me remove this one. See, x and y are any arbitrary points of capital X. So if you replace or if you interchange x and y, we will have the same. So simply I'm going to write here d of y a minus at a place of y, we are going to write x. Here also at a place of x, I will write y at a place of y, I will write x, right? See, what will I do? I'm going to take minus sign common. So if we do that, it will be plus and it will be minus, right? Since we have taken minus sign common, less than or equal to, say d of x y is same as d of y x. Distance of x from y is same as distance of y from x. So by symmetry, we can write this distance between y and x is same as distance between x and y. So let me call it as two. So uh, what do you think from one and two, what can we write from 1 and 2. Tell me what will I get? See, actually, right hand side is same d of x y d of x y. In left hand side, we have got a same bracket. But see here we have a plus sign and here we that bracket has a minus sign. So from 1 and 2 plus minus d of x a minus d of y a less than or equal to d of x y. So this is our conclusion from inequality 1 and 2. But see plus minus that bracket is nothing but mod of that bracket. Okay. So there is no more space required. So make a screenshot of it. Then I will go further. So therefore I can write therefore mod of d of x a minus d of y less than or equal to d of x y. See actually x and y are any arbitrary points of matrix space x d. So therefore it is true for all x y belongs to capital X. So let me call it a star. This is so much important thing. And yes, in this way, we completed our claim. So therefore, I should mention, hence, the claim. So in this way, we proved our claim. So using this claim, I'm going to prove the given function f is uniformly continuous. So using epsilon delta definition, I'm going to prove it. So let us take one epsilon first. So let epsilon greater than zero be given. So for this epsilon, we have to choose our delta. We take delta is equal to, but see right now we don't know what should be our delta, which will help us to satisfy the definition of uniformly continuous function. So I'm keeping it blank. We will go further. Okay. And after that, 
after writing few steps we will realize yes this should be our delta that time i will write okay so let us go further so d of x y less than delta implies see uh, now we are going to codomain getting so f is a function we have so domain is x with metric d so that's why i wrote d here but see in codomain we have r with a usual distance so that's why in r we should we use mod okay which is usual distance so this is f of x minus f of y okay so actually we have to prove this is less than epsilon let us work on it and uh, let us see what will happen so mod what is definition of f of x it is d of x a right what is definition of f of y it will be d of y a okay let me write properly d of y a but see we have seen this mod somewhere uh yes in star we have the value of mod is less than or equal to d of x y so i can write this is less than or equal to d of d of x y so i should mention from star from star okay but see d of x y is less than delta so let us add here less than delta actually our target is to prove it is less than epsilon and what we have got less than delta so let me choose delta is equal to epsilon getting so then delta is equal to epsilon then our technique will work and mod of f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon we got so in this way uh, see in this way i should mention uh, here yes for given so for x y belongs to capital x okay that thing i should mention okay so let me conclude this one make a screenshot of it then i will go further so therefore let me write therefore d of x y less than delta implies okay we started with this one implies what we got finally mod f of x minus f of y less than epsilon okay so yes so therefore here epsilon depends on uh, see delta depends on epsilon only not a point okay so therefore we can say if is uniformly continuous therefore if is uniformly continuous uniformly continuous on capital x so in this way we proved the given function f is uniformly continuous make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you